couple of different ways to make a butternut squash puree. It could just as easily be a pumpkin. Uh, we're using a butternut squash today, which is from the same family. First off, run your knife very carefully down the middle. Now what you'll see when we open that up is that there's a load of seeds inside, exactly the same as you'd have with a pumpkin. Very important to be sort of careful with your hands here when you're cutting this in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove those little seeds using a spoon. Now we're discarding them today because we don't actually need them, but you could very easily roast those off and they work really, really well uh, sprinkled on top of a salad, for example, little sort of crunchy texture from those seeds that would replace um, croutons and f like have a very sort of healthy alternative. Now we're going to sort of semi-steam, semi-roast this uh, in the oven so it stays nice and tender. So what we do is we're just going to lay them flat with the uh, whole part at the bottom of the tray and what's going to happen when we place that into an oven at about 180 degrees centigrade, 360 degrees Fahrenheit, is it's going to, because the water's in there, it's going to steam up and become sort of nice and tender and really, really soft. So once that's done, allow it to cool down, scoop out all the fleshy part of the butternut squash, and we're just going to place that into a bowl, mash it up, and you can add whatever seasonings you want here, like butter, salt, and pepper. It's a delicious butternut squash puree.